Now I'd like to show you the difference between Access and Logitech Media Server on a browser compared to an iPad. What we have to do first is type the IP address in of the Raspberry Pi computer that Logitech Media Server is on. Now we can go down to Spotify, open our playlist, and then we can select a artist or uh, some genre of music that we, we'd like to listen to. And of course, first of all, you have to know the IP address of the computer that you're on. And then you have to type colon 9000, which is the port that the Logitech Media Server resides on. And it's just not very intuitive, I don't think. The iPad application just kind of automatically does all this. It finds the server for you. Now, as you can see, I'm playing various music here through various applications. And we'll switch from Spotify here in a minute. And we'll go back home. And then we'll select the Pandora application. And uh, Logitech Media Server's got a variety of plugins that you can use. Uh, I like TuneIn Radio, Pandora, and Spotify the best. Uh, the interface here is just not quite as slick as the iPad, which we'll see in just a second. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing on an iPad. First thing we're going to do is open our Squeezebox application. And that gets us inside there. Now what we want to do is go to My Apps. And that shows our Pandora, our TuneIn Radio, and our Spotify. We'll open Pandora up now. And we'll go take a look at our stations. Scroll down to Miss Allison Krauss. And then we'll go ahead and select her station. And you can see that it's beginning to play music nicely. I like the iPad interface a lot better than the browser interface. If for no other reason, it's just more convenient. So, okay, now we'll go ahead and stop uh, the music here. And then we'll go back to Spotify. And we'll show you how that works. We'll go ahead and click on a playlist. We'll scroll down and we'll select Boston. And then we'll go ahead and initiate uh, one of the songs on the Boston playlist there. So it's a really, really nice experience here using the iPad instead of going to a browser and pulling up the Logitech Media Server. It's a much cleaner interface, seems to operate a little faster, and it's a lot more enjoyable, and you don't have a laptop on your lap the whole time. Thanks for listening. Now I want to show you how to do the exact same thing with a different application. In this instance, I'm going to be using an application called iPing. And it's very similar to the Squeezebox application. Now, I've opened it up here, and if you notice up in the upper right-hand corner is where your player resides. So you want to make sure you've got your Logitech Media Server player here. Same thing, you click on My Applications, and you'll see your Pandora, your Spotify, and your TuneIn app. Here's TuneIn. We'll go to my favorites, and I'll show you a list of some of my um, preset radio stations. And down here we'll click on Folk Alley, just to give you an idea of what happens when we play it. It's going to open up, and there it is. So, the interface is very, very similar to the squeeze box. However, it's just a much more polished, and I do believe iPing costs a few dollars as well, too, whereas a Squeezebox application is free. So, a lot of different things you can do with these programs and a lot of different ways to get at them. So, I hope you enjoyed this and hope you learned something. Thank you.